The following is a Thorf TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorfinson, part of our YouTube friendly series. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mr. Holster's Ranch, way up north near the Canadian border, we are proud to bring you the Pre Hard Target Show. Tonight we'll be looking at the Ruger Service 6. Well, let's get this show started off right. I see Jack's left me a little cocoa. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do when the winter's over and I won't get my cocoa anymore. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Ah, that doesn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. This is what we're going to shoot this week at the hard target range. The old Ruger Police Service 6. One of the three six guns last week we shot the Speed 6, of course there was the Security 6, the Speed 6, and the Police Service 6. They quit making these guns back in 1988, and they started making them a little bit different. They beefed up the design a little in the form of the GP100, and you lost this grip frame, and they just had a, a stump that comes out here that a grip fits over. And there's the one thing I really miss uh, about the Security 6, Speed 6, and the Service 6 is the actual grip frame. It's just not the same. This is the gun we're going to be shooting this week. It's a 357 Magnum, and of course we're going to be using that frangible ammunition on those beautiful, beautiful steel hard targets. Yeah, the AR-500 steel hard targets made by Hard Target. We're going to be shooting those this weekend, and it should be fun with lots of snow, because we've had lots of snow. Yeah. And the, But the temperatures are moderate now. They're within 10 to 30 degrees each day, and sometimes sub-zero at night, but they're pretty nice in the daytime right now, and the sun's been out pretty good this last week, so hopefully we'll have a nice, bright, sunny day to shoot this beautiful Ruger which I've had for decades, and it just keeps on working. You can't beat it, and if I say so myself, I think this is one of the guns I shoot, out of all the guns I have, probably shoot this as good or as well as any gun I own. One interesting sidebar on this before I leave you, the uh, Service 6 guns had, majority of them had fixed sights, some of them had adjustable sights. They were designed to be marketed with fixed sights. They also came with two different hammers, the spurred hammer, or here the spurless hammer, which can still be cocked by these checkered markings on the top by partially pulling the hammer back. You can catch it with your thumb, which I, I was never really keen on that concept at all. So I've removed the full cock notch on this hammer, so you can't cock it at all. I, I think that's just kind of a recipe for disaster, personally. <laughs> So there we go. That's what we're going to be shooting this weekend on the beautiful, beautiful hard target range. I'm getting kind of excited for spring to come because I got some big plans for the shooting range this summer. And I just soon the snow be on its way. We've already started calving season. We've had a couple calves drop this week. And, and actually, it looks like uh, our new bull is was right on the job. He wasn't even a year old when we got him, and, and it looks like he was doing his job within 24 hours of getting here. <laughs> yeah, because we've had two come that I didn't figure were going to be coming for another two weeks. So he must have gotten around right off, yeah, the night he got in. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Pre-Hard Target Show. I hope you tune in this weekend to watch us shoot this beautiful Ruger. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.